Ever thought about ditching your landlord and moving into a cave? Intriguing, isn't it? In this era of skyrocketing real estate prices, isn't it enticing to think about a return to the simple dwellings of our ancient ancestors? Today we're exploring prehistoric Airbnb experience and diving into the theoretical steps of how you could adapt to cave living. Step 1. Choosing the cave. It's like house hunting but without the real estate agent. In this unique venture, the location of your home remains as paramount as ever. Factors to take into account include its closeness to water sources, the size it offers, and the protection it provides from harsh weather conditions and wild animals. Step 2. Making it homely. Who needs IKEA when you have a cave? Once you've located the ideal cave, the next goal is to infuse a sense of comfort into it. Begin by sweeping out any debris, establishing a snug sleeping area using resources like leaves or animal skins, and fashioning storage spaces out of the rocky surroundings. Step 3. Setting up a fire. It's like your own heating system, but without the bills. The fire is a key element for maintaining warmth, preparing meals, and deterring inquisitive animals. Choose a location close to the entrance to enable the smoke to disperse but maintain enough distance to prevent the wind from extinguishing your fire. Step 4. Finding food. A home isn't really a home without a pantry or in our case a well-stocked cave. You can forage for edible plants but bear in mind, not all berries are created equal. Some might be a treat while others could spell trouble. Fishing in nearby rivers is another option but don't leave your reliable fishing rod behind. You'd be surprised at how essential it is. Hunting small game is also an option but remember they're speedier than they appear. Lastly, always be vigilant about storing food safely to ward off possible intrusions. You wouldn't want that pesky bear from next door rummaging through your supplies, would you? Step 5. Keeping busy. Who needs Netflix when you can carve your own cave art? Living in a cave doesn't mean you can't have hobbies. Make the walls your canvas, sharpen your survival skills, or embark on an adventure by exploring the surrounding area. Boredom doesn't have to be a part of cave living. Step 6. Safety measures. It's like home insurance, but without the paperwork. Always ensure you have a sharp tool for your defense, keep an eye on the changing weather patterns, and always have a backup plan ready for unexpected situations. Remember, even in the wilderness safety is paramount. So, there you have it. A theoretical guide to cave living. It's like a DIY project but with a lot more rocks. The key points to remember are, choose the cave carefully, make it comfortable, set up a fire, forage for food, keep yourself busy, and always prioritize safety. Living in a cave might seem like a drastic measure to combat the housing crisis, but it serves as a reminder of our resilience and adaptability as a species. It underscores the importance of resourcefulness and creativity in overcoming obstacles. And while we won't all be rushing to trade our apartments for caves, it's a fascinating exploration of how we could live with less, and perhaps even lead more sustainable lives. As we face the housing crisis and other challenges of modern living let's remember, humans have always found a way to survive and thrive, no matter the circumstances. And that, dear listeners, wraps up our theoretical guide to cave living. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep surviving. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into theoretical cave living and want to keep exploring with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got more fascinating explorations into theoretical and practical living situations lined up. So, stay tuned for more unique content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.